huge outpouring on social media about this latest mass shooting. Our Christy Fajardo joins us now with how politicians are reacting. Christy? Yeah, the latest in what is now a string of mass shootings is stirring up a now familiar debate. The heartbreak in Texas is renewing calls for Congress to act on gun control. And tonight, California Democrats are leading the charge. Senator Feinstein writes, when will this end? When will we decide that we can't accept massacres in our places of worship, schools, or at concerts? When will we actually do something? It's a sentiment echoed by Senator Kamala Harris in this tweet. Senseless gun violence has torn apart another community, this time in a house of worship. When do we say enough is enough? In Japan today, President Trump stayed away from the issue, but had this to say about the latest massacre. Through the tears and through the sadness, we stand strong, oh so strong. My administration will provide its full support to the great state of Texas and all local authorities investigating this horrible crime. Back home here in the U.S., House Speaker Paul Ryan tweeted, reports out of Texas are devastating. The people of Sutherland Springs need our prayers right now. And House Majority Leader and Bakersfield Republican Kevin McCarthy sent out this message. The evil perpetrated in Sutherland Springs is indescribable. And both sides of the gun debate may use aspects of today's shooting to help make their case. Investigators say the gunman used an assault-style rifle, which may have contributed to the high death toll. But investigators also say it was an armed neighbor who stopped the shooting spree and saved lives. Back to you. All right.